What's your name? My name is Sergeant Leah Duxlil. Uh -huh. What are you a sergeant in? I'm in an, in an artillery unit. In what army? In the Israeli army, in the IDF. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Were you born in Israel? No, I was born in Austria, in Vienna. Uh -huh. to, to a Jewish family? Yes, both of my parents are Jewish. And uh, you could have joined the Austrian army. No, there are no women in the Austrian army. Were you, were you a soldier or a policewoman or something in the military in, uh, in, in Austria? I wasn't in the military in Austria. What did you do there? In Aust I was born and raised in Austria till I was 18 years old. And I, I graduated and I was a student, so I wasn't in the army or a police officer. Did you do any modeling there? I did modeling in, in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Because you have natural blonde hair? Yes. You're the only one? There are some others too. <laughs> Maybe not a lot <laughs> in Israel. How old are you now? I'm turning 21 next week. My parents live in Vienna, also my brother. And when you go home, are they all uh, excited about uh, your stories from, or can you tell them? Yes, I'm sure they are. They're very proud of what I'm doing. Also, both of my parents are very, they, they, they're Zionists, so they, they're, they're proud of what I'm doing. Do they complain about the anti-Israelism anti that they see in the streets and in the media within Europe? I think they do, yes. They do what? It's, um, uh, Does it bother them? It bothers them to see that there are people who are against Israel, who think that there's, it is a country of war, but I think they just don't know enough about Israel to judge them. They've never been in Israel. A lot of po politics who say that, uh, that Israel is a terroristic country or something like that. Uh, do you serve as, a, do you feel like a model for the uh, Austrian people to understand uh, Israel a little better? If I feel like a model? Yeah, yeah I mean like an example. Model, to an example for Austrians? Yeah. The thing is I'm Jewish and there aren't a lot of Jews in Austria today. So I don't think I'm any kind of role model. I, I don't think they understand why they left Austria. They don't understand why I joined the army, especially as a combat soldier. But my Jewish friends who live abroad like outside of Israel, they, they totally support me and understand what I'm doing. They know what it feels like as a Jew not to have a country, not to know where to go. So they do support me. People who are not Jewish wouldn't understand. When, when you see, in Austria, do you see many uh, elderly people with uh, uh, tattoos of numbers on their arms anymore? Um, both of my grandparents are, they survived Auschwitz and some other camps, concentration camps. Um, but nowadays, um, the people who survived the Holocaust, the, the Shoah, they are around 90 years old or older and are not alive anymore. So today I barely see that. Uh -huh. How about in Israel? Do you ever see that in Israel? I've never, honestly, never seen any Holocaust survivors. But I've seen a lot a couple of years ago in Austria. I volunteered for a program that's called Centropa, where I interviewed um, a lot of people who survived the Shoah. Do you feel that your uh, Austrian background inspires you to be more sensitive and more vigilant to fight anti-Semitism? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Because Israelis, they grow up in Israel next to Jews, Jews to other Jews in a Jewish community. So they're not used to anti-Semitism. Anti anti but me personally, I was, um, I was born and raised in Vienna. And the, uh, I, was, I think me and maybe two other people were the only Jews in my school. So I met people who don't like Jews. So I was faced to anti-Semitism. So I know what it feels like to be the only Jew abroad. Is there a, a growing neo-Nazi movement now in Austria and Germany? Um, in Austria, I don't know if it's growing, but there, there were always there was always anti-Semitism, and there will always be. Why do you feel it will always be? Because 
that's how a human that's how human beings are there's always hate in them so and the lack of knowledge about other people and the fear of something they don't know but do you feel that you're fighting for an important cause or is it just a place to uh, to get a free college education no I didn't come for a free college education I could get a free college education in Austria I came to 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 fight for my country. Now, do Austrians feel that you may have a, a dual loyalty, loyalty to both countries? Is that possible? I don't think so. I'm, and in my heart, I'm only loyal to Israel. I feel more Israeli than Austrian. After only two and a half years? Yes, because I've never actually felt at home in Austria. For me, Israel is the home for all the Jews in the world. Thank you.